No way. They're finally gonna do it. Ever since Cindy and I got our Jeep JT Gladiator Evo built by our good friends over at Off-Road Evolution, there's one thing in particular that tons of people have been asking us about, and that is, who makes this thing and where do we get it from? Of course, what you're looking at is what Evo calls their high and tight rear bumper, and for whatever reasons they may have had, it was something that never went into production. And while this may not be a bumper, I do know that it was made specifically for this. As in, Evo is finally gonna make this awesome bumper available for everyone. So, what exactly is this thing? Well, if there was one thing that was always lacking on the high and tight bumper, it was a means to attach a license plate to it. This is, of course, due to the fact that it was designed to be high clearance and, well, tight to the body. And there just wasn't any place to put one, or at least not without it getting in the way of the tailgate. Just to get by, I did end up making a mount of my own, but soon found out that it would drag on steep climbs and ultimately needed to be removed anytime we went wheeling. Now, what's so cool about this mount is that it totally solves the problem of what to do with the license plate. And as you're about to see, in a very elegant way. Okay, I do need to point out that this mount should really be installed before the bumper. And mainly because there's at least one bolt that's pretty tough to get to after the fact. Of course, being that we did just get this mount in today, I'm gonna have to loosen and or remove a few of these bolts in order to give me a bit more elbow room. All right, now that I've got a bit more room to work with, I'm gonna be using a Torx 40 bit to remove the two bolts securing the hinge to the tailgate. All right, from here, all I need to do is position this mount onto the bottom of the hinge and then secure it in place using the factory hardware. Last but not least, I can go ahead and install our license plate onto the mount using the hardware provided with the kit. And I should note, you'll need a 7 16th inch wrench and a 5 32nd inch Allen wrench in order to do that. Hmm. So, it looks like at least one of the bolts that they provide is a bit long and will make contact with the tailgate. Um, to be fair, they do allow for a bit of wiggle room in the bracket itself, but I pulled it in as close as possible so that when you open up the tailgate, the license plate won't hit the bumper. So um, I think I'm going to use different bolts.
And that's all there is to it. And check it out. The license plate moves with the tailgate so that it's never in the way. Now, if you'd like one of these awesome Evo high and tight rear bumpers, along with one of their license plate mounts, you can buy them now by clicking on the links in the description below. And I should note, these links are affiliate links that Evo provided us, and that any purchases made through them will go to help support this channel. Thank you. You almost got it. You almost got it. Try again. Go ahead, get it. Yeah, get it. Yeah, keep trying. I know you're trying. Go ahead, get it. Get your pumpkin. Hey, Ripley. Go, go on the other side. Go on the other side. Yes, good girl. Oh, you almost got it. Oh, you almost got it. You almost got it. Good girl. Get it. Oh yes, get it. Oh, you almost, you just messed it up. Get it. Yay, you got your pumpkin. Yay, you got your pumpkin.